Are we ready? Coach, you want to make an opening statement? Uh, anytime you can win in this league, it's it's a good win. I, I told the team after, uh, I, I'm amazed and proud of what they've accomplished. It's hard to be 9-0. Um, it's also an interesting feeling when you come off and, and not everybody's elated because they, they know we didn't play our, quite our best as a football team. Um, it's awesome when you get a win when you don't quite play your best. Uh, but I, I think... I think our guys understand we're going to have to be at our best in, in upcoming weeks. So we're looking forward to getting back to work. First time you haven't, you've been held scoreless in a quarter since that's the first that's since Maryland. We talked about that third quarter a little bit. Yeah, you know, I think we made some mistakes that, and we hurt ourselves a few times. You know, we, we are driving to score and we fumble and then we have a low snap on the first play of the drive and we put ourselves in a second and whatever that was, 68. Um, mm -hmm. And, and a couple more mistakes. Uh, those are the things that you can't do against really good football teams. And, and we got some of those on our schedule coming up. So that we have some stuff to clean up. Anything you said to the players after the third quarter to get them uh, hyped to finish strong in the fourth? No, you know, this team doesn't really need rah rah speeches. Um, this team has plenty of energy. Uh, all we need to do is go out and do our job and execute. I think they understand that. Um, I don't want to be a coach of a team that, that needs me to do jumping jacks and yell at them to play hard, and our guys don't need that. Uh, we just needed to quit making mistakes. Talk about Otis Anderson, had that big fumble, but then responded uh, with a big touchdown uh, a little later, just his day. Yeah, it was good to see him get back out there and, and kind of make up for that play. Fumbles are going to happen. Um, that's two weeks in a row that we've kind of been driving to put a game away and gave the ball up. Uh, so we'll continue to address that, but it was great to see him get redemption with that long touchdown. That that play was key in this ball game. Nick, for the deep, uh, for you guys in the, in the fourth quarter versus the third quarter, obviously you said uh, no points in the third, but then almost immediately in the third quarter you guys had that big run from Otis, and then McKenzie scored again. Also, well, we didn't make any mistakes that stopped drives. Um, it's hard to get in a rhythm when you're making mistakes offensively, and you have a negative play, or you have a penalty, or a turnover. Um, if we can stay on rhythm. Uh, stay ahead of the chains on first and second down, then we're in a good spot. And I think we did that in the fourth quarter. David Pendell, their quarterback, he was a little bit hard to contain. Just talk about what he was able to do and how you guys uh, kind of struggled a little bit, I guess, in trying to tackle him. Yeah, I was impressed with him. He's a good athlete. Um, I, I think they're getting better as a football team from, from what I saw at the beginning of the year. Um, they played USF pretty tough last week, played us really tough to, today. Uh, so I know they're doing a good job up there. He's a good athlete. I think they hit us on a couple little gadget things that um, we we probably weren't quite ready for. And uh, I thought they had a good day. So um, again, anytime you can win in this league, uh, it's a good win. And I'm excited about where our football team is. Where's this Where's this week ranked for you? It's been a pretty good week for you. Yeah, this has been one of, one of the best weeks I've had. Um, and I'm th I'm grateful to these players for playing as hard as they did and pulling these two games out because. Uh, Sanderson, the birth of my son with two wins, uh, makes it one of the best weeks I've ever had. Is there a name yet? That, uh, UConn Wincy. UConn Wincy? Oh, yeah. I forgot I got that thing. Um, <laughs> I think we'll we'll keep this one around. Uh, the conflict trophies probably disappear, but we'll keep the onesie around. Does your son have a name yet? He does. Uh, we're probably going to announce it later on this week. Was Killens, did Killens get banged up a little bit? I know he didn't play in the second half. Yeah, uh, he got banged up a little. I think we could have put him back in, but uh, at that point, Otis had made a couple plays for us, and, and we just finished the game without him. Can you speak to McKenzie's performance, another 300-yard game? Yeah, McKenzie's been our catalyst. Um, we have a lot of guys around him that can make football plays, but McKenzie's the one making the decisions and distributing. And uh, I thought he played a clean game today. Uh, their defense did a good job and took away some of the things we thought we were going to have, and that made us sputter a little bit. Some of our mistakes made us sputter. Um, but, man, when we need plays, McKenzie makes them. And he, he's been lights out from a decision-making standpoint all year. So uh, another good performance by him. Speaking How about UConn's defense, did they kind of surprise you guys a little bit? Um, you know, kind of uh, uh, drain out to start the game and everything. But yeah, did they surprise you? Yeah, we, you know, we went three and out, and then they jumped off sides on a punt, and that really helped us. Um, I'm sure they're talking about the mistakes they made, too. Um, no, you know, we're kind of getting to the point. I've been in this situation before that if we don't have 38 points and 400 yards at halftime, then everybody wonders what's wrong. And it's not always that easy. Um, other, other players are going to make plays, and we're going to make some mistakes. Uh, 
you know, when you look up and you didn't have your best day and you got 49 points, those are good problems. Um, so we can play a lot better, but I think the guys made enough plays to get it done today. How about Traquan Smith with that block that freed up Otis on that touchdown? Yeah, Traquan has, has been a stud for us all year. Uh, he practices hard, he plays hard, he's a good teammate, he's a good leader. Um, I'm glad he's a knight. Coach, there was a groundbreaking today for the for the athletic building, football ops building. Can you just speak to what's going on here with facilities and how committed, I guess, you think the school is to it? Yeah, I think uh, administration, campus, everybody is doing everything they can to try to fast forward this program and this university uh, and catapult us to what we all know this place can become. And I think staying ahead of the curve on facilities certainly isn't easy, uh, but. The commitment to do that has been incredible, and um, and I'm just thrilled with with all the changes and, and things that are happening around here. And, and really thank Dr. Hitt and Danny White and everyone and the donors and everybody else that's getting these things done. Coach, you know his first pass in the game, 35 yards. By the time we looked up, he had to do a touchdown pass. How pleased would you with his decision making on that one pass? That one pass? Well, the decision was pretty easy. They left a guy on cover. Um, we were in the huddle, and we kind of had had that play set up from things we'd run earlier, and it was time to put Noah in. And I actually asked him, have you thrown a touchdown pass yet? And he said no, and I, so we called that play. And um, it was a lot more open than I expected it to be. So he, he could play a long time and not have an easier touchdown pass than that. But Noah's been doing great. Uh, he's gotten better every week, and, and we trust him to go in and make plays if we need him to. Coach, you had three penalties on that third drive, and you were able to finish the touchdown, make it 21-3. Talk about how your team was able to pound those penalties and just pull through and finish the drive. <laughs> yeah, you know, I forget the stats, but it's a low percentage chance you can score when you get one penalty. Um, we, we certainly got to go to the film and look at those and, and see what's going on and make sure that we're not making those mistakes. But. Uh, it, it's remarkable to be able to endure that and, and get the ball down the field. And uh, we got a lot of playmakers that made plays at the right time to keep that drive alive. Scott, two years ago when you took this job, did, did you expect it to happen this fast for this team? No, I don't think so. Um, I knew this place had unlimited potential. That's what I said coming in. Um, but it, but this has been an 0-12 program. And I, I was really impressed by some of the talent on the team, by the resiliency of the players and the desire to be better. Um, I think the recruiting has gone really well uh, to fill in some of the gaps. And then this team has bonded together like very few teams that I've been around. Um, so I knew we could be really good around here. I, I, I'm not sure I even thought it could happen this fast. But we have a lot more work to do this year, and the guys have their, their sights set on some pretty good things this year. When, when something's this new, like this program is in so many ways, it, it's hard to, you know, know exactly what the ceiling is. Do, do you have you sort of reflected on that or, or thought about how high UCF could go? You know, I think given time, UCF can be. I don't know if there is a ceiling. Um, th this is the best college town in in Florida. It's it's a huge school with good leadership. Um, it's just new. I think if, the, if this place had been around as long as some of the other schools around the country, um, this would be a powerhouse. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this growth because I, I think this can be a special place and I, I don't think anybody will know what the ceiling is uh, till down the road, but uh, UCF is, has been great to me. This community has been great to me through the birth of my son and I, I'm grateful to a lot of people for having a chance to be a part of this. Just got to that point, 9-0 is 9-0. You talked about your players playing with a chip on their shoulders, what's it going to take to get a little national respect, certainly specifically with regard to the playoff? Yeah, I don't care. Um, I, and I know I should, you guys want me to comment on that. All we can do is beat the teams in front of us. And, and I don't like when people's opinions are drawn on sports. I, I just don't like it. I like when things are decided on the field. All we can do is take care of results on the field. So far, our guys are um, perfect in that respect. So we're going to keep trying to work to finish the year that way, and the chips will fall where they may. Two or three more here. Scott, what was your overall take on the defense? It seemed like when you guys needed a spark, King had a big hit, or Trey Neal got a pass breakup. Yeah, I thought the defense played pretty well. Um, I, I really do. I thought they played hard. I think we made a few mistakes on defense too. Those are kind of harder to see, um, but 
we dropped a few things and, and fit a couple things wrong. They, they gave them some things. I thought they did a good job too with some of the plays that they had designed. Um, but overall, uh, with the talent they had out there and the, and the quarterback that we had to prepare for kind of later in the week, I thought the defense played really well and, and made plays when they had to. Any updates on uh, Jordan Aikens? Yeah, we could have played Jordan tonight. Um, we decided to, to hold him to make sure he's healthy for the stretch run. Did you say anything to your veteran on Veterans Day? To Rory? Yeah, he and I have a pretty tight relationship. And um, I was going to make him a captain today. And I, the captains have to go out early. And uh, we talked. And I think he preferred to carry the flag out uh, in front of the team. So we let him do that. Then he joined the captains. but. It's great to see him in the game. Uh, he's certainly taken a, a path where he deserves um, any accolades he get, gets, and I'm glad to see him out on the field playing with his brothers. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Thanks, Coach.